ETF this year was this one, Moonwalk. Um, you can see that this problem doesn't have a huge amount of solves, but it's it has a fair amount, and there's still a week left in the competition. Um, I'm filming this well in advance. Okay, so the you you get this message. Um, so you download the message, and you get this very screechy uh, WAV file. I'm not going to play it for you now, um, because CTF hosts their uh, games even afterwards, so you can play it for yourself if you really want to hear it. And you, they uh, give you some hints, um, but they're not very helpful. Um, the CMU mascot is actually the most helpful one. It's uh, Scotty the dog, if you look it up. Um, this one's not particularly helpful because a lot of the articles are very vague. Um, however, if you check the Pisa, um, a very common hint there is Research Portal 2's Easter eggs. So if you do that, you find out that there's this thing called SSTV. So I messed around with a couple SSTV decoders um, on my desktop, um, on Windows actually, um, even though I'm on a Mac right now. Um, you probably can't tell I'm on a Mac because I'm just recording part of the screen, but I'm on a Mac right now. Um, but um, I messed around with some SSTV decoders on Windows, but they didn't seem to work properly. So then I found this GitHub. Now this is an SSTV decoder for a Raspberry Pi, uh, but I didn't feel like setting up a Raspberry Pi. Um, I also found a possible SSTV decoder for Ubuntu. And I considered using that because I actually do have a uh, Ubuntu install fairly readily available. But this article about the SSTV for Raspberry Pi has a playing around with SSTV on a mobile phone. And I have an Android phone, so I downloaded this app called Robot64. And this is where I will take us to. Okay, so on Android, there's this app, Robot36. And this is the app that I ended up using. So if we open this app, um, it can't start the recording because it doesn't have the microphone right now because I'm doing a screen recording So I can't actually show you this in action, but normally it would show a bunch of random noise here And this is using the phone's microphone. So what you can do is you can play audio in it from the computer However, that produces a corrupt uh, image So I'll actually probably edit an image of the actual hardware I use but I have an Android phone So I can use USB OTG and I have this really cheap little USB DAC um, slash ADC module from China that's useful for Raspberry Pi Zeros because those don't have built-in audio hardware. And these modules are like a dollar or two online, and I actually have a couple of them. Okay, so my first attempt, sorry, um, my first attempt resulted in this. This garbled image. Um, and that's because of the distortion due to the computer speakers and the phone microphone. But once I had the DAC going in, I was able to get this very clear image, and there is the flag. Um, so that's just one of the most interesting problems in the 2019 Pico CTF that I kind of wanted to share. It's a very um, unusual thing, and it's something I didn't have experience with before this CTF. Uh, we have about a week left in the CTF right now, but currently my team has 7,700 and it and is in about 238th place. Um, actually, we've fallen. We're only in 270th place now. A day or two ago, we were in 230th. Um, hopefully, we'll get that up to a little over 8,000 by the end, which will be roughly double our score from last year. Um... Yeah. Hopefully you learned something, and I'm sorry that, uh, as usual, this video was not scripted or anything. Bye.